Tonight on the 10 o'clock news, one of three St. John's County men who pled guilty in the murder of a man in downtown Jacksonville has learned his sentence. Earlier this evening, 20 year old Ryan Nichols here on the left was sentenced to 40 years behind bars. He pleaded guilty in the second degree murder of Gary Johnson in May last year. The night of the shooting, prosecutors say Nichols and his two co-defendants, Daniel and Holden, were doing drugs together at a home in St. John's County when they decided to drive downtown to Jacksonville. News for Jack's reporter Eric Gabonier takes us inside the courtroom. An exhausting five hour sentencing for convicted killer 20 year old Ryan okay. Nichols ended um, with Nichols learning how long his punishment would last inside a Florida state okay. prison. You sentenced to 40 years Florida state prison. That is with a 10 year minimum mandatory. Nichols was one of three men from St. John's County who back in May of last year traveled to downtown Jacksonville and took part in the murder of Gary Johnson, a man who begged for his life when he was fatally shot by Nichols following a discussion the two men were having outside this downtown 7-Eleven store. While the nature of that discussion is still unclear, a witness we spoke with a day after the shooting says he was nearby when the discussion turned violent. He described what he saw and heard as a drug deal that went awry when Johnson grabbed Nichols' gun. He took off with their pistol because the guy showed him his pistol and he was waving it around like, well, if you don't remember drugs, drugs back, then I'm going to shoot you. And he just grabbed his gun and took off. That led to a brief foot chase until co-defendants, 19-year-old Daniel DeGuardia and 22-year-old Holden Dotson caught up with Nichols and told him to get in the Jeep. DeGuardia told police that while they were searching for Johnson, Nichols told Dotson to hand over his gun. As he grabbed Dotson's gun, he jumped out of the vehicle and shot at Johnson. Johnson's body was later discovered behind a dumpster on Ashley Street, several blocks away from where the chase began. Police also found bullet holes in the dumpster. Investigators say surveillance video led them to all three suspects. During Tuesday's sentencing, Johnson's sister spoke about her brother. I heard from my brother and thinking that he was running for his life, those final moments of his life. I closed my eyes and I tried to imagine being chased down, down the street at downtown Jacksonville. He didn't stand a chance. His nine-year-old daughter, Ask me all the time, why did they kill my dad? What did he do? I don't know. I don't. I, I can't. I can't explain it. DeGuardia and Dotson are both awaiting sentencing for their roles in uh, Johnson's murder. They both face up to 15 years in prison. Reporting live from outside the Duval County Courthouse, Eric Avenier, Channel 4, the local station.